is Cynthia Farrell Johnson, and I am an artist, a visual artist, so I paint collage and do all kinds of stuff with fibers for a living. Cynthia Farrell Johnson's artistic visions fueled her mind early as a child. I can't remember a time when I was not interested in art. Mom, who was also an artist, she always carried a little pen and pad in her purse. And so she would pull it out, draw some pictures for me, and give it to me and say, now it's your turn. So every Christmas when they asked me what I wanted, I wanted a tea set and I wanted a paint set. <laughs> and I guess that kind of foreshadowed my future career as a diplomat, because we would often entertain as a diplomat. Interesting how our early interests as children carry over and evolve. Johnson grew up hearing stories about her ancestral heritage, Panama and Barbados her young imagination took her to other lands. I guess it was my junior summer that I went to Germany and studied. And of course, when you're in Germany, you go to museums, you go to historic sites. So I became very interested in what it was like to live in another place and to see how other people live and understand that there were many different ways of being in this world. She found that knowledge among stacks of books. While working at Barnard College Library, a colleague pointed her to an interesting discovery. The U.S. Information Agency and Cultural Diplomacy's Minority Recruitment Program. She applied, launching her 25-year career as a diplomat. So in Africa, I lived in Benin and, and Ivory Coast, Côte d'Ivoire. And in each country, they have different artistic traditions. There are these things like these gold dust boxes and weights that are intricately carved and just beautiful. Patterns, all kinds of really fascinating patterns. And of course, the masks that everyone's familiar with. There are just so many types of visual arts. Including applique patterns that are specific to each country's king. And kings influenced her art. She was tapped to illustrate the children's book, The Black King, filled with royalty, frogs, and other interesting characters. The fascination with bright colors, I've always liked bright colors, but when you're in a sun-drenched tropical environment, all the colors just pop. So a lot of my work has very bright colors. When I'm painting, I often just go into another zone. For me, the zone is, ah, oh, yeah, this is what I want to do. This is where I want to be. I love these colors, yeah. It's just a very positive place and a calming place. Johnson hears music and her father influencing her while she works. The first one, is a series I did interpreting spirituals that my father sang. My father was a bass baritone. He studied music, but his day job was a printer. Oh, I also learned about colors from my dad, too. Her other favorite series features interpretations of songs by women, which also speak to her. One time someone asked me, why are you always painting women in your pictures? And I said, I paint what I know. <laughs> I mean, what do you want me to paint? I paint what I've experienced, and I want to honor those women who are out there working hard every day. Johnson says she loves Montgomery County, and Montgomery County loves her back. Her work can be seen in several places, like here in the conference room of Shepherd's Table in Silver Spring. And she says one of the reasons she likes this area is because of the diversity. Montgomery County influences me in that it reminds me of the wider world. We were looking for a place also where our children would not be the only ones in a classroom, but would have a variety of students from different backgrounds, because that's what makes life interesting. Beauty, kindness, and vibrancy in a diverse world keep Johnson creating. It's spelled out in her artist statement. Our world is full of rich, beautiful colors. My goal as an artist is to record beauty. In the process, I hope my art will bring joy into the viewer's life. My goal is to remember that every day there are more individuals acting out of love 
and kindness than hate. In telling their stories, I hope to inspire and comfort others. Cynthia, thank you so much for sharing your art with Shepherd's Table. My art represents a journey in life. I'm Diane Roberts for My MCM.